Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me for this very first episode of the IT Hiring Training Series. Today we're going to talk about one of the most important aspects in an IT resume. The one that a hiring manager is probably most likely to notice first when looking at your profile. And that is how long your resume actually is. It should make sense to you already. A resume that is too short is going to be thrown out as uninformative, while a resume that is too long is going to be discarded because it takes too much effort to absorb and digest. So what is the right size? What is too short and what is too long? Unfortunately, there is no 100% recipe. Every manager will have their own perception of what the right size is. But the industry standard says that a resume should be about two pages in length. And it makes sense. An average manager just won't have time to read through more than two or three pages. On the minimum, it really depends on your work experience. But even if you are just out of college, you should be able to come up with at least a page of relevant work skills. But on that, I have a whole separate segment in one of the future episodes where I'll go through those challenges much more thoroughly. Now, let me talk a little about my own personal approach. I rarely limit myself to specific resume size, but usually I will not thoroughly read through more than two or three latest job experiences. What is of most interest in a candidate to me is what they have been working with most recently. Anything older than five or six years, I will glance through to get a sense of their industry exposure. So there is something you wrote a whole essay about that you've been doing 15 years ago, chances are it was a lost cause and will go unnoticed. Achievements that you're proud of should be discussed at the interview. Don't bet on them being acknowledged and appreciated from the resume alone. At times, I will get seven or eight page long resumes. Yep, they also exist. And you know what? They scare me. They scare me because I feel uneducated and inexperienced compared to this phenomenal individual whose resume is in my hands. But unfortunately, most often, these resumes present nothing more than a repetitive collection of every technological skill imaginable in very broad terms. And similarly as often, they will go directly to trash because they feel so artificial and unrealistic. Bottom line is, do not submit seven or eight page long resumes. They have a fairly bad legacy and will not generate much interest from a hiring manager. Turning back to really short resumes for a moment. It's really about giving a good impression and insight into who you are. It's really hard to make any assessment of a candidate whose resume is half a page or less in length. As a result, such resumes would get discarded by the managers in light of more descriptive applications. So remember this key fact when writing your resume. It's a gateway. It will not get you hired, but it can lend you an interview. So it needs to be straight to the point, highlighting your strengths and key achievements, but it should not overwhelm the reader with too much information that is less relevant. All right, that should be enough to get you started. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave your comments in the description area below. Next Tuesday, I will continue this conversation and talk in more detail about what should you put on the resume and how you should organize it.